Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I'm going to give some tips, build and guide for the new hero, CC. Story CC is the cheerful lead act of the Whimsical Wonders Theater Troupe and this year they chose to perform on Castle Aberdeen. But upon arrival, CC discovered that the city had a law against performances. However, this did not deter CC as she continued to perform despite multitudes of soldiers stopping her. Inspired by her spirit, the long muted performers of Castle Aberdeen emerged and took part in the most magnificent show the castle has ever witnessed. Skills. Her passive skill is called Performer's Delight and it gives her 1 stack each time she deals damage. Each stack will then grant her 0.75% movement speed and spell vamp. And when it reaches 10 stacks, the effect is doubled giving her a total of 15% movement speed and 15% spell vamp. Her first skill is called Yo-Yo Blitz and it attacks a single enemy within its range for 10 times. Each attack deals HP based damage and she can move while using the skill. Second skill is called Buoyant Bounce and it lets her jump to a target direction. If it hits any unit, she can jump again, depending on your joystick's direction. Her ultimate is called Curtain Call and it links to enemies all the while slowing them. Enemies cannot break the link if they move away from each other. During the skill, both link targets will receive damage from her first skill. And if you use it on a single enemy, her first skill will hit twice per attack. When leveling up, prioritize her first skill as this is your main damage source. Upgrade ultimate when available and put the least priority on her second skill. Skill Combo A basic combo will be second skill and first skill. You'd want to use her first skill while she's in mid-air so that you don't waste any yo-yo attacks. Using it before you jump is not effective because you lose a couple of attacks. Another basic combo is to collect stacks before you jump. You can do one or two basic attacks on a nearby minion before you jump to your main target. That way you'll get full stacks before your first skill is finished. If your ultimate is available, you can use it before casting her first skill. Never use your ultimate if your first skill is on cooldown because it only lasts for 4 seconds. You'd be wasting the double damage potential of her first and ultimate combo. Another combo is to use her second skill last. Just go near the enemy and use her ultimate and first skill. If the enemy blinks away, you can easily chase them with her second skill. You have slain an enemy. Build For CC's build, there are two ways to play her. One is hybrid using War Axe, Hunter Strike, and Malefic Roar as your attack items. The rest are defense that will depend on the enemy lineup. Malefic Roar is a perfect pair for her HP based damage, ensuring your damage will scale until the late game. Hunter Strike, on the other hand, is a perfect tool in giving her that much needed movement boost. The second build is by going full defense except for the item War Axe. The true damage from War Axe enables you to deal decent damage even though the rest of your items are defense. As for the emblems, I prefer Fighter for that extra defense and spell vamp. Tier 1 is agility for movement speed. For tier 2, it can be Festival of Blood or Wilderness Blessing. For tier 3, it's either Brave Smite or Quantum Charge. For the battle spell, there are two options. First one is Sprint so that enemies will have a harder time catching you. Perfect for kiting. The second one is Vengeance which is quite effective if you're using tank build. Game Style Early and mid game is when CC is most powerful with her yo-yo's continuous HP based damage. She excels in a 1 vs 1 scenario because of the extra damage on her ultimate. As for CC's role, I prefer her on the experience lane. Yes, she can clear jungle camps fast but there's one big flaw to her game style and it's her targeting. Remember her first skill will lock on the nearest target and it prioritizes heroes. So for example, you're trying to get the Lord and then an enemy shows up within your range. As you can see, her first skill change targets. So during crucial lord fights, she doesn't have any burst damage or anti-CC skills to last hit the lord. And her first skill will change its target, putting you at a disadvantage during retry fights. And that's why I prefer her on experience lane. CC's damage takes time to apply and she doesn't have the burst feature like Nero. To accomplish this, you'll need a bit of defense item to survive while you deal damage continuously. Her game style is a bit similar to Irital because you can move while attacking. You can easily win the fight if your first skill can outrange the enemy. Initiate retreat. You have slain 
tips. Movement speed plays a big factor when playing CC. Always go for items and emblems that give movement buff. You can use your first skill on towers, but it will change targets when there is a minion or enemy hero nearby. You can do a double jump when you hit an ally just like this. If you want to collect stats faster, you can jump on multiple enemies or minions. Each enemy you hit will give one stack. Counters CC can be countered with slow effect and of course, crowd control. Angela, Eve, and Valier can easily prevent her from moving too fast across the battlefield. Stun and other long crowd control effects can waste the duration of her first skill. If possible, use stun right when she starts attacking with her yo-yo. Anti-caress is also a big counter to CC as it reduces the effectiveness of her HP-based damage. Meanwhile, good teammates are usually supports like Angela and Estes as they give her more time to apply her damage. As for CC, she can easily counter those melee heroes by simply moving out of the range with her movement speed and second skill. High HP heroes will also have a hard time against CC because of continuous HP based damage. And that's it for our CC guide. So, how was your experience with CC? Is she good, balanced, or overpowered? Share it in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.